Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. Check it, man. Hey, man, it's your boy E-CEO, man. Uh, listen, man, make sure you got to like, subscribe to the channel, man. This is something I had to talk about, man. I seen it popping up in my news feed. We got to talk about Michael Jordan's son, Marcus. Marcus is pretty much one of these guys that he's, uh, you know, He's doing things that, you know, uh, you know, you never seen Mike just pop out like he popping out. Uh, this Marcus is something else. I got sons, so I understand how this thing can go crazy. Now, I, I, I really, I've never done drugs in my life. You know, I've been around them. I've never done them. That's one thing I always tell my kids. Don't never think. I've never done them. A lot of people get on this stuff and start doing whatever. I had, I've been around a lot of stuff, but I've never done it. But I did see a lot of people getting involved in doing it. Whether it be crack, whether it be uh, booger sugar, what it, that white girl, you know, uh, you know, it's a lot of people that does it. I don't have a problem with what a person do, but Marcus, you out of line. Anytime you go to another country and you do something, you know your daddy gonna be in trouble. We watch Michael Jordan every move, man. He very he does a lot of stuff we don't agree with it. Uh, he's very uh, angry. Look, when you try to holler at him, he always got some you know, negative way of dealing with press. Uh, he used to be a hell of a gambler back in the days. Uh, your granddaddy got killed on the side of the road. A lot of allegedly and speculation. I, I could get, I could go on and on about the stuff that doesn't happen with your family because of how much you guys are in the limelight. But when you think about what you're doing as you go over to France and you start to get this, man, you took a whole scoop of that thing and you put it up to your nose and you hit it and you sniffed it and people everywhere seen it. It's all over the news, man. I don't know what's going on with you. I don't know why your dad ain't showing you more attention, but I believe you're the same one that was messing around with Scottie Pippen's old lady. Now you done got on this stuff and now the whole world seeing it. All the people you hanging with don't even look like you. And it tripped me out. And I know already, man, like I said, I got kids. I would not want to be, you know, I don't, I don't want my kids outed. And I know that ain't the plan that Michael Jordan had about having his kids outed. This is a situation where when you look at it, you want to make sure that you don't want to be judgmental, but then you, you feel bad for them because you know already they grew up trying to hide their lifestyle in every situation that they was going through because of who their father was. Now they ain't got a little older, and I guess he felt like because it was in France, and I don't know, somebody look it up if it's legal in France or not, but I can tell you right now, he was doing it in broad daylight. It was a it was a girl here, a girl, and then it was a Chinese looking guy in the front. And it was like, wow, man, like, do he really not understand that people gonna record him in public? Do he not know that he gonna go viral? Or do you just say, hell, I, I'm, I'm, damn it, I'm doing it. And may, it, maybe it's done got to that point. Maybe it was a time when he did hide it. Maybe it was a time when he wouldn't let you see him sniff that stuff. You know, I just know that if you gonna do it and you gonna come out with it like this, man, you're going to get backlash because we're not used to seeing kids just blow and go. This is the first blow and go situation that I've seen where it's broad daylight, big go gobs of white. And you hit it like it was a movie. You bent down, then you smiling afterwards like it's cool. And you're probably feeling real good. I don't know because I ain't never hit it, but you're probably feeling real good. You're going to be woke for a while. You, I don't, you ain't getting no money like that, man. What is you doing? But y'all check it out. Marcus, man, he got, in this, got on this stuff and got himself in a situation. I want you guys to get in the comments. Let me know, man. What would you do if this was your child? What would you say to him? He come back from France. He pull up. He get out the Uber. Cause he probably ain't even no car. He get cause he probably ain't driving. He don't want to get caught with that stuff on him like that. So he gets out the Uber coming out. What do you say if you Michael Jordan? I know somebody who will have a lot to say. She calls in and she rock with me all the time. My girl, Reality TV. What's going on? What's up? What's up, Reality TV? Do you see that? You mentioned it yesterday when we was doing the review. The other review we was doing it. You you mentioned it. Uh, when we was doing the Nelly review, so you seen it early on. What, what what do you think about what's going on with Marcus? Well, we know Joy. It, it's not my my choice of uh, enjoyment. So, uh, but you will be surprised who do it. Okay, what? And I, 
your your doctor that's probably doing your mama surgery probably smell it better. But um, it's very common. So for people to be just in this outrage of, oh my God, that's why I said why why it always has to be a black person when other people do this in the public eye all the time. Like why is it like? <sighs> I don't know. I, I don't understand it. Like, we know we seen Chris Brown do it. We done seen him get caught. You know, why it's only like certain people that they only take pictures of? Because I'm pretty sure other people, you know, you see in public doing it. It's not just them doing it. So when you think of a person doing drugs or, 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 or getting on this old booger sugar like that, what do you, what is your first uh, thought when you see him bent over the table like that? Well, he about to have a good damn time. <laughs> have you have you ever you ever hit that book of sugar? I never did it. Never. That's not my thing. So how do I you know what time I he having? Really going through my nose. I, I don't. I don't. I don't get the concept. But hey, to each his own. Have you been around somebody that maybe done it? Yeah. You knew they was on it. Yeah. How did they act? Um. Just happy. I seen a guy that owned a mechanic shop. I mean, like, um, hyper to me, you know. I seen a guy own a mechanic shop, start snorting that stuff. He was buying girls' stuff at my stores and all kind of stuff, buying my employees' stuff, any kind of clothes they wanted. He was riding around with them, and he he got he became so involved with that stuff that one morning he had got kicked out of the house because him and his old lady couldn't couldn't get along. One morning, because he couldn't get in the house, his best friend was staying there to protect his old lady because he had been breaking back in. When he left, when his best friend left, went to the quick car with, with the girl, daughter, and taking her to school, he walks inside of the quick car, the quick trip, I'm sorry, quick trip, and he shoots him in the back of his head while he's standing in the line waiting to get his stuff. Right in, in the morning, around about 8 o'clock. Seven o'clock. Shot him dead in the back of the head. Killed him right there. Then he comes by the shop, by my shop. I see him over there at the other shop. He don't. He leave there, and not long after, he go up on 175 and uh, have a shootout, and they kill him right there. All behind that booger sugar. I, I know a lot of people uh, freaky. It, it it hyped him up so much that he was amped so high that he couldn't come down, and he started to killing and being killed. Yeah, he might have been on something else. I don't know, but I'm telling you, that was the main thing I was thinking. Like, this man is on this booger sugar. Did it do him like that? Did it take him there? Did it only take that to make him go there? I don't I know. Told, I was always told that it was a rich man drug. Well, I don't know. How he was doing it. Now. I'm telling you, I know that because he was snort. You know, they hit their nose like that. You feel like, dang, they own it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying. But I don't know, man. Like I said, uh, dope. Uh, uh, Dope is not nothing to play with. You can't cope no. with the dope. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, I just don't want to see people go out like this, huh? I'm just saying, everybody stay drug free. Stay and drug free. Just say I'm no to it. The prescription drugs too. Yeah, yeah, they, they own them as well, man. You know, and I and I remember you bringing it up because Nelly was supposed to got caught with four X's and pills yesterday. So I I get I see why you brought it up too. Right. Yeah, but definitely, man. Y'all, reality TV seems to think that uh, you know. He's, uh, you know, he basically wouldn't get violent and that it's a rich man's drug. A uh high. -huh. Like it's not. I mean, in the Okay, well, well. Norm, but I'm not saying it's right, but I'm just saying it's normal. But why is, why is it such a big thing that this black man doing it and, I'm, and everybody probably was doing it at that table? Man, listen, all I'm saying is get in the comments. He Should that hold on? Let me let me say this. I'm gonna end this thing. Get in the comments. She say he ain't doing it by himself. Why is he the only one being mentioned? I, is it because he's Michael Jordan's son, or is it because he's black? Whatever the case may be, get in the comments. Let us know what you think. Reality TV seems to think he's being out ostracized, out being an outcast. Let us know. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, Boss Talk 101, man. Hey, Boss Talk 101 reviews. It's going down, man. Boss Talk 101, what a boss is talking. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, a reason you see.